When you see cars like the Maruti Suzuki Swift or the Hyundai Grand i10 Neos on your screen, I know that you're expecting me to say something about small packages, fun. Well, you are right and we are going to get to that. But before that, I want to let you in on a little known fact that these two very cars started off this whole cornering performance and rough road tests for us. But because they were the very start and what gave us the idea to do that, we didn't actually put these cars to those tests. We're going to fix that today. And yes, it's going to be small cars, a lot of fun. Let's get straight to it. So first thing, of course, we're going to start with the cornering test and we're going to look at all the Hyundai Grand i10 Neos' runs. First run at 60 kmph, the second run at 65 and the third run at 70 kmph and at 70 kmph it drifts wide and clips that first cone. And now on to the Swift. So the first run of the Swift at 60 kmph, 65 kmph and even at 70 kmph, they all look practically the same. It's able to hold a very tight line, keeps nice and stable all the way through the corner, so it clearly wins this test. When does it get unstable? That's at 75 kmph. And of course, you're gonna have to wait for that till the end of this video. The results of the acceleration test were as expected. The Maruti engine feels peppier and it was the case in our results for the sprint to 100 kmph too. And even in third and fourth gear roll-ons, it was the Swift that was, well, swifter. The braking battle was a closer fought affair. The Swift pulled off the win, but the margin between it and the Neos was a lot closer. The Grand i10 is sprung softer than the Swift. In the off-road section, this helped the Neos spill less water than the Swift. But the margin was really, really small, just around 20 ml. In the real world, the Neos is the more comfortable car. It rides softer over bumps in the city and on the highway. The Swift suspension is conversely slightly stiffer. And so in the off-road section, it spills a little more water. And in the real world, the Swift is marginally less comfortable. In the city, slight imperfections are felt a little more and on the highway, the ride is marginally bumpier. So the Neos wins this rough road test and is more comfortable too. And as you can see from the points table, the winner of this test is the Swift. It's quicker in acceleration, brakes a little better and corners harder than the Neos. The Neos' strength is in its better overall ride quality. So keeping in mind the results of this test, which one would you pick? And so finally, the bonus round with the Swift doing 75 kmph and I'm getting out of here. 